This is A-I-S-H-A. Uh, my question, I have kidney disease. Look at that. Kidneys, 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 all over the place. And that's why, you guys, we have a newfound respect for kidneys. I learned this years ago. Those babies are so much more important than they can even imagine. And you're going to find them finding a new lymphatic system hooked to the kidneys. You just watch. In this past week, I have changed my eating habits about 90%. Oh, congrats. Congrats. What I mean by that is I went from eating meat and dairy products daily, several times a day, oh, yeah, I know what that's like, to hardly none at all. Well, good, good, good job. All I can tell you is you're taking steps now to, to get your health and, and, and to put your, your body on the road to well, Bill. So good, good job here. Uh, matter of fact, I haven't had any meat or dairy in the past three days. I, I go to, di oh, that's the greatest thing this guy could have said. Now, this person goes to dialysis two times, only two times a week for two hours, huh? I still produce lots of urine. <laughs> yeah! All right. Now, that's what you want. Now you can wean yourself off of dialysis because you have to be careful. Dialysis has been responsible for stopping people to, of self-urination. The fact that you're producing a lot of urine is incredible. What are you not doing, though, that's causing you the need for dialysis? You're not filtering. And that's what you got to get going. You've got to get your kidneys filtering lymphatically. That will pull the acids out of the body, all the inflammation out of the body, and the kidney itself. So then the creatine goes down, everybody's happy, you're still, you're, you're getting sediment in your urine. I work and is active. I'm in school, but I uh, absolutely refuse a kidney transplant at this time. This is a good, good person. Now, you rebuild this kidney. You know, thank God you got away from proteins and dairy because that's chewing down on your kidneys. Now you want to pull back and get in your vegetables and your fruits and your berries and your melons, especially your fruits and your berries and your melons, and you just cool everything down, you start hydrating, and you start astringently moving lymph. As you start to clean the kidneys and bring in the adrenal glands up, getting more neurotransmitters of dopamine and acetylcholines, now you got better elimination, you're getting hydration interstitially, systemically, See what I'm saying? And now you're getting hydrated around all the cells head to toe. That's just what that meant. So if you're self-urinating, I'd be cautious about uh, uh, dialysis. And what I would do is get myself way up on detoxification, and you'll save your kidney and everything else. Because kidneys rebuild just like any other tissue. Remember, kidneys are used like the stomach. They're used to dealing with acids. So they regenerate beautifully. Thank God there's certain tissue that is very good at regeneration. Uh, I, uh, let me see. Uh, we don't need a transplant. We'll work all that out. Need a picture of your eyes. Let's get a picture of your eyes. Put your name on there and tell me that you had a, you're on dialysis, but you're still peeing. And let me look at your eyes and we'll talk. I don't feel good about it no matter what anyone says. You don't want diet. You don't want a new kidney. It's a good chance, uh, a great chance that uh, you can rebuild that. I, I, matter of fact, I've never seen anybody that couldn't rebuild their kidneys unless it's atrophied until it's just so small and atrophied almost away. Then, yeah, that might take a while. You know, but if you still, and they're just get, basing this on chemistry, I'd want to see the eyes and to see what your kidney looks like. Because there's no fun, no, nothing good about getting someone else's kidney. Not for them or you. And so this is not good. And you can rebuild what you have. I love where you're thinking here. So what all of this being said, my main question is what should I be eating? Fruits, berries, and melons at the top of the list. Vegetables at the low end of the list. Green drinks preferably. That will start cooling down the kidneys and, and start uh, astringing the kidneys, particularly the fruits and the berries. they will start astringing the kidneys and start pulling those acids out of their interstitial uh, cavities of the kidneys, which will then stop the blowback of the creatinine. That will start going down. You'll start getting, you know, you get the adrenals up with that, and then you'll start invoking systemic reactions. The prostate will start pulling clean. If you're a female, your female organs start pulling clean. Everything starts pulling clean closer to the kidneys. It's just how you work this out. I was told to stop eating animal protein. Ho, 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 ho. I can't tell you how much. No protein whatsoever or you'll end up losing the ability to pee here because I was leaking protein in the urine. No kidding. That this just Protein is a bad thing, not a good thing. We've been taught it's a good thing. You know, sometimes when they teach us things, it's the reverse is true. Notice that the history books are being written how they want them to be written. Notice that's what we're dealing with in America and Texas here. What are my pH papers doing over there? Nobody ever puts things back. You ever notice that? <laughs> 
Uh, okay, okay, I can stop eating animal protein, no problem. But will other problems like beans, legumes? No, off of all of them, my friend. All protein. Give your kidneys a sweet little break. They, they're dying for some fruit juice. Uh, cause protein to leak out of the uh, same thing my friend I want to change my eating and eventually I want to be hundred percent no meat no dairy and I'm working up to that now well you're on dialysis don't lose your kidneys or you will regret every minute you didn't change your diet faster please take your time go now you got plenty of support you got your Facebook sites here you got plenty of support go now jump into this and you'll be done with this. Your kidneys will be saved. You'll be happy and singing a song every day. Uh, I will run across the same problem. Also, what about meat substitute options? Forget protein. Drop that in the waste can. Forget that. Go to your carbohydrates. The main need of the body is carbon anyway. Not a protein. It's carbon. Not nitrogen. Carbon. Uh, when I run across, okay, also what about, okay, what, uh, what ones are best that are not loaded with salt and tofu? Uh, yeah, don't do any of them. Get away from that whole consciousness, man. Produce section of your grocery store or your markets, your fruit produce markets. Go to those places that have your best fruits, berries, melons, and vegetables, and that's what you eat. You can eat all you want, but just fruits, berries, melons, and vegetables. And you'll be surprised how fast you can save your kidneys. Get on some herbs for the kidneys, herbs for the adrenal glands or glandular and your lymph system and clean yourself away, my friend, and you'll be done with this and you'll be done off of all dialysis. And I would be going that way right now before you get yourself into any deeper trouble. You didn't mention what the level of your creatinine is or anything else. The fact that you're self-urinating, yeah, you don't know how far uh, ahead of the game you are at, my friend. All right. I've got a kind of run here. Got a birthday party back there. We always celebrate our employees' birthdays and stuff, uh, just for the fun of it. You know, we like to have a little fun around here and all the seriousness and the trouble that people are having. But from my heart to all of you, have fun with this. Keep it simple. You know, there's so much idiocy and, and ridiculousness out there. Keep it balanced. If something sounds, you don't have to be radical at getting well. Eating, eating fruits, berries, and melons is not radical. Not even close. Eating proteins and dairy products is radical. Eating dead teeth as a, for a human. Eating dead tissue and their milks is radical. That's radical. If you look at how we eat, that's radical compared to the way we're designed and what we're supposed to be eating. Not radical, and that's the same thing. Medical is radical, not holistic. Nature is not radical. Pharmaceuticals and chemistry is radical. So you have to understand that the radicals tried to turn it around and make it seem like we're radical. And that's not true. We're traditional. They're alternative. We're not alternative. Not in the like. I've always stand firm with that. When someone says alternative, say, I want you to rethink that. We've been here since the dawn of time. We're traditional medicine, if you want to use the word medicine. So, take, take our rightful place, because if we don't claim it, someone else will. But they'll claim it in a way that they gain control over you. So have fun today. Spend some time alone. Give yourself a big hug, and then start hugging those people around you. A good hug always helps the day off really well. You know, love goes a long way. We need to instill that all around the world. There's just too many people killing people and celebrating that. Sad stuff. Sad stuff. And so we have to be the strong ones. And you guys, there are a lot of you guys that are the strong ones. Stay strong. Keep it simple. You know, we grow. We're not, we're not opposed. And I'm not opposed to growth. That, that's the name of the game. But when we've done some of the things these people are doing over and over for years, it's a redundancy we don't repeat and don't have to repeat. If there's something new, we like to take a look at it and see if it's not toxic, not harmful. These are, this is the criteria I look when someone asks me about something. Is it harmful? Is it an isolate? Is it, uh, is it you know, is it, how's the effect going to be on the body? That sort of thing. When it's a protein or heavy minerals, get away from them. This is, we've used those for, for years. Some of the new people might not have heard of it, but we've been using these forms for 
hundred years. People are still sicker than a dog. Wrong focus, wrong thinking. So you guys are really well. I really appreciate each and every